internet and welcome to my redstone world or at least the transport rings world anyways I'm gonna explain how this thing works and how you can use it to set your own coordinates and whatnot so basically coming over here you can press this button it'll spawn the power pad right there and that's how you activate the rings but you've also got to use one of the coordinate buttons so, da, 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 da. love that effect. And it looks amazing when you use it. Anyways, I've made four of these in each orientation so they can be copy and pasted easily so you don't have to be settled for it. This maintenance shaft should be closed when you are done. And these are basically where you're going to put your um, coordinates all of these command blocks anyways these last coordinates right here those are your coordinates for where you're going to end up And I've basically set up a whole bunch of dummy coordinates for all these other ones, so that's not, shouldn't be a problem, but, you know, set all of them for yourself, otherwise you're going to have some people going to the wrong places. And just to show that the orientations work as well. And well, that just takes me over there. Anyways, let's get all the way over here again and basically show how this works. So, basically, all the command blocks here, those are where you're getting your target coordinates. These ones here, they're just for helping it reset, just as these ones here are. And this is for cleaning out the rings after every use. These ones here are for activating this system here three times, and that's going to spawn the rings in and they fall. And then you got this set up so that when you step up there, a red blocks, redstone block forms down here, the pistons go up and the beacons activate. And that's pretty much it. And this is just for cleaning out the rings. So, yeah. If you have got any more questions, tell me, and this world will now be up for download. Yeah.